Welcome to Huntsford, a small market town in the heart of the English countryside. Bob and Robbie interview apprentices and Mario makes an admission. Robbie, tea's made. Coming, Dad. Oh, I needed that. That brake cylinder was seized up good and proper. What, on the Skoda? Yes, offside rear. Need new ones? All ordered. Should be here with a noon delivery. Good. I'm just going to check my emails. I'm expecting something from the college. What? For the apprentices? Yes. Bingo. That was quick. I thought we'd be waiting weeks for any news. Hey, that's lucky. One of them, level three, is that lad Greg who did some work experience with us the other year. Remember? Yeah. He was a good little grafter. I'd have him back. I'd really like to see these lads quickly, before they get snapped up elsewhere. Oh, I've not much on Thursday. How's your workload? Thursday's OK. As long as we get them here lunchtime. Let me phone the college now. So, this meeting at the Victoria Hall, I had a bit of a wander round afterwards and there were loads of space. Yeah, they hold all sorts of stuff there. Yeah, well, I thought maybe they'd like to host an up-and-coming rock band. We could practice in one of the rooms and then hold gigs in the main hall. On the stage, they even have lights. Right. Hey, Mario, are you all right? No, not really. What's the problem? Broke my guitar, didn't I? Badly. Broke a bit off and it sounds well out. Probably cost shed loads to repair. You taking it down to Melodies, then? No, I daren't. Don't want them thinking I don't look after my stuff. Nah, they won't. It's the rock legend tradition. Trash your guitar at the end of the gig. Don't be stupid. I wouldn't be able to afford it. Hey, talking of rock legends, why don't you let Dave have a look at it first? Why didn't I think of that? Thanks, mate. Morning, Heather. What can I get you? Flat white, please. Anything to eat? An almond croissant, please. Grab a table, I'll bring it over. I need you for five minutes, too, if you can spare it. Be with you in two. Right, one flat white and an almond croissant for you. One hot chocolate for me. Wow, that looks good. My morning treat. You have my undivided attention. Well, split with the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing serious. It's just after the meeting last week, Sandra and I were talking about the WI. Oh, not really my scene, you know. Oh, Carmela, I haven't even started my pitch yet. Go on, then. I'm only joking. Well, the hall was so full that we thought how amazing it would be if we could get the numbers up to where we used to be a few years ago. Attract new blood, as it were. Oh, look, here's Sandra. May I join you? Of course, of course yes. yes. I was just saying to Carmela about getting the WI numbers up again. Oh, right. Yes, it was great to see the hall full last week. Well, tell me, what do you do when you meet? Well, we usually have a guest speaker and... We've had we... some really good ones. That lady who does the garden designs, uh, with a name like a pet, a Bunny. Bunny Guinness. Yes, we had the son of the vicar who wrote Thomas a Tank Engine stories. He was very interesting. Is this once a week? Goodness me, no. Monthly. Oh, I was going to say. And we have tea and cakes. Hmm, sounds like competition. Unless you're looking for a supplier. No, uh, but talking of competition, we have one of those too, uh, themed with the speaker. 